Welcome back to Whiskey Gods and Tater Tots. We are going back to our beginnings. Our old stomping grounds. If you look back at our first video, this is where we shot the original Whiskey Gods and Tater Tots, where we reviewed Old Granddad bottled in bond. We are back. Now that all the bourbon's in the living room, this has been converted to a gin bar. So, gin and tonics. Any thoughts? No, I'm just excited. I know, right? <laughs> it's like a full circle. Because like our first bourbon video was here, and this is our first gin, gin video. video. So it only made sense to come back. And it's funny. Old roots. It's funny, we keep, uh, we keep looking back every once in a while, and it's just like, this is so crappy compared to what we had. Well, we had to do it. We had to do it. And it was great. You know, we got here. Alrighty, so today we're going to start off with a basic bee feeder. I mean, our preference is Hendrix, of course. So but why did we do bee feeder? Uh, because it's almost twenty dollars cheaper oh. for the handle. Should yeah, I'm cheap. cheap. Bought two stag juniors today, so you know I gotta conserve my money. All right, we are using. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, we... I was... no, 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 no. Yeah, no. <laughs> we are using Canadian whiskey Glencarns. And where did you get those? Actually, so Jack Daniel's single barrel. These come in the gift set. Blows my mind that they're throwing Glencarns. All. <laughs> Glen Carnes are coming in gifts that's not blows my mind. What was that really crappy? Well, it's probably because people aren't buying them by themselves. Which blows my so mind because they, they are. Throw them into a gift pack and they get them like that way. That's like a $10 glass in the really. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna start off with some ice. Oh, look at that. That was a pretty solid pour. Two and two. Alright, we're gonna go to the gin. Gin? Yeah. We're gonna do two ounces, which on a jigger is gonna be the larger side. And then it's gonna slip. There's no way. Oh, there is a. Because you can get it up to the meniscus. I knew it. I'll just put lotion on my hands because my hands are so dry. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I thought I had it. Alrighty, there's <laughs> handles. So far. There's handles on every. You're just gonna have to suffer. Alright, what you wanna do is get up to the meniscus. Close enough. And what we're actually gonna do, um, only because she's got gin all over the place. Only because tonic can make or break uh, gin. It'll completely change the taste profile. What we're gonna do is, I mean, I do this first every time as well. Just mix it around. Just get a little cold. Get a little the vapors out. Give it a sniff and you get birch. The notes on it. Ha. So I don't know, it's, it tastes pretty clean, but I don't it almost tastes like there not taste. Almost smells like there's some like light imperfections to it, like a, a couple of stringencies. I couldn't tell you what it is. But I don't know. Ice. I mean it's <laughs> probably is the ice. <laughs> <laughs> um alrighty, so we have that. We are using tonic water. Wegmans brand diet tonic water. So it take the sugar out of there, replacing it with aspartame, which will mess with it a little bit. We are not going to use a garnish today. We are going to use never forget this our nifty this spoons. So you know, very long handle. These are very well balanced. A little tiny spoon shape on the end. We're just going to give it a nice light stir. I wonder why they. What? A spoon? What part? I don't like it. Oh, so that way you can sew it twist. Yeah. With your fingers. Alright, move forward. I think it's a good one. So, the thing, so each gin is different and then every tonic is different, which is why, um, who is the, what's that brand of tonic that we love? Uh, tree. Tree Fever. A fever tree. No, fever, fever tree. tree. Fever Tree. The reason I love it, I love their slogan. Uh, slogan says that uh, three quarters of your drink is tonic, so use the best, something like that. I think that's brilliant. Schweppes. Schweppes. Here we have it. So Schweppes, incredibly, I think, incredibly high quality. They're all diet because, I don't know, yeah, fat. Fever. Yeah, fat enough. But this can be incredibly clean, but it's still gonna have like a, a nice citrus, grapefruit note to it. But I use this with like Hendrix, so love it with the Enbrogen and the Botanist, because it just like, they're both very, clean flavors and this just adds to it. I would use that with Monkey 47 too. No you wouldn't. You would want to use this 
with Monkey Four Seven because you're it's gonna eating. have no. You're gonna have more citrus. More importantly, it's gonna be a little bit sweeter. So I'd use this with like the Roku. Um, I'd use this with the Logan Berry, the Jim Mayer's Trash. Um, what? <laughs> it's not. But the reason that we're using this tonic with this gin is because I, uh, I don't know, I used to love beef feeder, but now I do think there's some astringencies to it other than the high juniper in there. So this just kind of knocks back the flavor a little bit and muddies it. Um, trying to hide a little bit of that. So the sweetness is going to come through, come through, the citrus is going to come through. Let's can we try taste it. it? Yes, we can. Okay. Very sweet. Uh, I don't think it's sweet. You think it's sweet? No. Well, not like, I mean, like, sweet in terms of, like, how gin comes sweet. Yeah. I don't think... Uh, it's like cucumber peppery. Yeah, you do get... I think, like, a cucumber garnish. I mean, like, the same that I would, like, Hendrix. Phenomenal with cucumber. Um, and I would almost put it with this. But, yeah, like, I do get a little peppery notes on it. Not terrible. It's not great though either. No. I mean, it's a decent like. It doesn't taste like a crappy gin and tonic, but it doesn't taste like a premium gin and tonic. After we've had our gin thoughts, gin thoughts and tater tots. <laughs> now we have our tots. All right, so we take a nice basic starch and we pair that with three sauces. sauces. So the first one is gonna be Frank's Red Hot. Classic. Second one is gonna be Baby Ray's barbecue. And then the third, today's special sauce. Oh jeez. I hate them already. Wahlburgers. Whatever that means. Wahlburgers. It's a you know like Mark Wahlberg, Donnie Wahlberg. I don't know who that is. What? You know you don't, you don't know who you don't know who Mark Wahlberg is? No. You know what we're gonna call like, this? Like seriously? I you have no idea who Mark is. I don't know who you're talking about. We're gonna start off with our first sauce, Frank's Red Hot. Let's see how it is. Why is mine over here? Mine should have been over here. I don't know, because we're starting from the left and we're going right. Honestly, I don't know what to expect with gin and tonics. Mm. I kind of like them. They don't really do anything. You don't like them? I don't hate it, but then, like, it's not like when you have like a hot bourbon that like, makes it hotter. If anything, like, it kind of like diluted it. Yeah, but I kind of like it. He likes it. I don't know. It's like the the spiciness. I mean, we were talking about peppers a little before. The spiciness yeah, is almost complimenting it. Yeah. And the sweetness kind of goes with the, the hotness. Kind of get like a, a sweet and sour. Not, not sweet and sour. Sweet and spicy. Huh? Something spicy? What is it? Sweet, sweet and spicy? No, sweet and sour. No, but it's, it's not sweet and sour. Yeah, like, I don't know what you're comparing it to. Like sweet and sour orange sauce or like... Well, sweet. This is sweet and spicy. Yeah. So why'd you say sweet and sour? I don't know, because I was not just trying to figure it out. Moving on I to barbecue. sauce number two. It's not honey barbecue. It's regular barbecue. Oh, yeah. Memphis barbecue. For you barbecue fanatics out there. That was Baby Rage. Yes, it's a brand. And then there's like four or five different types of barbecue. Kind of goes with it. Man, it's gin and tonic, the ultimate. I think like we're like screwing around with all these. This a little bit more smoother. The barbecue? Yeah. I mean, that complimented it good, but I feel like this one complimented it just a little bit more. Well, I mean, we were talking about how it's um like a sweeter gin and tonic, sweet tower. So it's like sweet on sweet, building on each other. So like that complements it, that builds on it. The the, the, the hot sauce complements it, the barbecue sauce builds on it. And the wall burger. It's just gonna. It's, it's gonna no, it's gonna go great because it goes great with everything. Right, On to the third sauce. All burgers. Oh, that was the worst. Yeah, I knew he was gonna hate on it. Do you like it? Yes. Okay, you know, you like it. You see, you get a I'm not biased. Uh, yes, you I, are. No, I'm not. It's a great sauce. I'm not saying it's not a great sauce. I'm just saying that with this gin and tonic, it tastes like trash. How do people chew loud? Right, it's a topic that I want all of America to have a discussion on. How do people chew loud? I'm not talking about like when like the food, like your teeth are chomping on it, but like the sound that you're 
<clears throat> like that sound. Oh, that's crazy. Are you yeah. saying that I chew loud? I say you kind of chew loud. So do you. Mm -hmm. I can hear it. There's a difference. I just heard swallow. You did hear me swallow. I heard it. Yeah. The microphone heard it too. Fans heard it. We will go back and we will investigate the evidence. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> Maybe Yoda heard it. Alright, so let's say that choose one sauce. What would it be? Alright. Well, I'm going to be unbiased and I'm going to say. Not being biased. That both the hot sauce and the barbecue sauce were pretty good. The hot sauce. They were all good. They were all good. And the barbecue Five sauce. Five wall burgers. Nine times out of ten. Endorsement. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten he's going to choose it. Yeah, because that other one out of ten will be Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh my goodness, you see, there we go. I think that about wraps it up. I'm Adam. I'm Alden. This was Gin Thoughts and Whiskey Tots. <laughs> <laughs> Gin Thoughts and Whiskey Tots. You're drunk, girl. <laughs>